Cell phones are everywhere, even in the classroom, but Albuquerque schools are confiscating hundreds of phones, and some of them they're keeping for a very long time. News 13's Chris McKee questioned the district about it. Chris is on special assignment. 505. They're young. But kids with cell phones I got mine like a couple of years ago. Yeah. Are today's norm. I got mine in about uh, third grade. I think they help. Parents like Summer Quick have their reasons. I mean, my daughter got her phone when she was in sixth grade. Sometimes I could be late picking her up. Be able to communicate with their parents. Making sure that they made it home safely. But during school, <laughs> Albuquerque Public Schools policy says cell phones should be out of sight and silent or turned off. If not, teachers can take them away. It has been a concern and a distraction. Vernon Martinez is a longtime APS principal now at McKinley Middle School. Cell phones going off in class. You find students texting each other in a class um, to make arrangements to maybe go meet in the bathroom. News 13 wanted to know how many cell phones APS schools take away each year, but the district says they don't keep those numbers. Here at McKinley Middle School, the principal says so far he's seen about three to four cell phones taken away, but by the end of the year, he says some other schools will see much higher numbers. I wanted to ask you as well, you know. Martinez was at James Monroe Middle School last year. There probably was at least 25 to 40 phones confiscated through the year, and that's probably a conservative estimate. And APS says in some cases, they're allowed to keep those cell phones, even from the parents. Oh, wow. They need to write that in the handbook. I don't think that's a good idea. Toby Herrera helped draft APS's cell phone policy under the direction of the school board. Most of them now understand the rules. The first time a phone's taken away, parents can pick it up at the end of the day. The second time, it's a week. And the third time... It identifies that the cell phone should not be picked up until the end of the semester. Would you be okay with that, them hanging on to it that long? No, no, I would not be. I don't like that at all. I pay for the bill. That's my child's phone. At least call their parents to come pick it up and you know, ground them from it. But APS says it's all to protect the learning environment. We would prefer not to hang on to the student's property, but at some point after three, you know, warnings, it, you know, it's, it's, we have to think about the whole rather than the individual. While some parents say they agree with taking phones away. It can be pretty distracting, you know. Many think the district shouldn't be hanging on to them. I need to be able to communicate with my child. I don't believe it should be on school property. If I have to go and pick it up, you shall release it to me. Chris McKee, KRQE News 13. While district policy advises schools on how long they should hang on to disruptive student cell phones, some schools have set their own time limits. The district's exact cell phone punishment guidelines are not listed in the student handbook, but we've posted links to all of it at krqe.com.